Hi guys, welcome back to this video tutorial on a JSF and JDBC project example. In the previous videos we saw how to configure an Eclipse project for a JSF framework and how to create a JSF view based on a template. Now we will add to the same view a table where to list our employees using H column data table and at manage bin annotation. Let's create the bean class of the employee objects. First of all, the new package. Model is the package of the bean classes. Okay, now the properties. Okay, let's generate a getter and setter. And the two string method. Now let's add to the view the table where to list the employees. Let's copy and paste. The age column data table is another JSF user interface component and its value option is set to an object that is a collection of items to be listed in the table. The var option is set to a name here employee which refers to each item in the collection so we can use employee to refer uh, in each column of the table to each uh, property of the employee object. But let's see better this expression here. It is uh, inside the uh, uh, curly bracket uh, and uh, preceded by hash. And uh, it is written in uh, expression language that is a programming language that be can be used uh, into the uh, JSF uh, uh, view and with this uh, expression language it is possible to do um, uh, arithmetic uh, operations or uh, uh, operation on strings uh, uh, logical operations uh, and so on and also to use uh, inside them um, to refer uh, to objects or methods of uh, managed beans these are there four options, style class, header class, footer class and uh, row classes, uh, refers to um, style classes in the style sheets file here. Uh, so table, table header, table footer, 
and uh, we can see also a uh, different uh, um, style for uh, um, uh, odd rows and even rows in the table. Okay, but let's see better this expression. The collection assigned to the option value is that one uh, returned by the find all employees method, which is part of the class baking employees. This class is uh, called in a so called baking bean class, which is a specific kind of managed bean whose goal is to uh, store the object uh, used uh, by a specific view and to provide its uh, method. Now we are going to create this class and this method. Let's create a new package in which to store all the baking beans of our application. Okay, and now the manage bean class. We can use, we have to use the same name, but with the first uh, uh, character in uh, uppercase. Okay, now we have to add uh, the annotation manage bean so that uh, JSF can. Uh, Recognize this class as a, a managed bean and uh, let's import the library. Okay, no, it's not here. This one, okay, and uh, we can uh, assign the name of the bean, the name that can be used to refer to this bean. Uh, to this manage bin uh, into the JSF views with the name option name that is uh, the same name but with the first letter in the, in the lower case The second annotation that we have to add to this managed bean is the session scoped. This means that uh, uh, all the objects uh, defined in this uh, managed bean will be alive for the duration of the user session. So we can uh, say that. Uh, uh, the manage bean uh, matches the um, state of the session. Instead of session scoped, we could use in JSF uh, other types of uh, annotation, uh, such as uh, request scoped, where uh, the duration of the object corresponds to uh, an HTTP request response cycle, or uh, view scoped, where uh, uh, the object uh, uh, leaves um, uh, until uh, the user is using the same view or uh, application scoped uh, where the duration uh, corresponds to the duration of the whole uh, application that is uh, until it, it uh, is uh, shut down now we have to create to create the method find all employees in the backend being So it's a, it must be a public method to be called uh, from within uh, the views and um, it returns a collection of uh, employees. Okay, before writing the code of this method, in next video we will see uh, how to create a table, the employee table in the database using the JDBC API. Thank you for your attention.